Well, hello there, my lovely Taurus energies. It's your girl, Raven, the Triple P. How are you guys doing this lovely afternoon? I hope that you guys are doing good. I certainly am. So is my dog Golden. He's napping right now. All right, so check it. This reading right here will be for the sign of Taurus, all right? You may not even be a Taurus. You could just have it somewhere in your chart, and therefore the messages that I read for you could still resonate for you a bit. I just ask that you take what resonates and you leave what does not, all right? To my new and my returning subscribers, I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support for the channel. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for uh, returning. <laughs> That's kind of important to me. Thank you guys so very much, okay? All right, God bless each and every single one of you guys for all of it. All right, so Taurus, let's get into this, okay? Um, I'm not sure what the reading's going to be about. We're just going to flip these cards out. Y'all know the drill. We're going to flip the cards out. We're going to see what Spirit has to say, you feel me? Holy Spirit, please tune me into the collective energy of the sign of Taurus. What are the card? I mean, what are the cards? What are the messages here, please, for the sign of Taurus? All right. Okay, that is a very big lump. But someone here may have hacked your phone. And they may feel sorry. They want you to forgive them. Let me put these back because that was just user user error. Okay. <laughs> All right. What else for Taurus? What's going on for Taurus? All right, Taurus. Somebody wants to bang ya, or somebody really thinks you're sexy. Giggity. <laughs> uh, someone here could be obsessed. This could be an obsessed ass energy here with the giggity. You know, the obsessed quagmire. You feel me? Take out resonates. So obsessed that they won't stop. They're not going to stop Taurus, okay? This is somebody who is just, like, they have an addiction. Like, Quagmire from Family Guy, I mean, he, he's a ladies' man. Everybody know it. But, like, this is an energy that is just, I don't know, something's weird. Something's off. You may need to make sacrifices. Time to make sacrifices. So, you may need to make, uh, you may, it may be time to make sacrifices, Taurus, uh, for somebody who is obsessed with you or something here. Maybe because they've got some childhood wounds they need to um, deal with, they need to heal from. That could lead to a lot of fighting. We got band members fighting, which can mean like a group of people not getting along or something. Someone here may need to seek medical attention for the things that's bothering them. Somebody here may be ready to seek medical attention uh, for what's bothering them. Amen. All right, so let me keep going here. All right, Holy Spirit, what else for Taurus? Okay, Taurus, we got somebody here in their South Node energy. South Node energy is the um, energy that you, it's like when you're um, you're doing things in your South Node, it means that you're doing things to, to where you could get karma from it, like bad karma, you know what I'm saying, like bad luck, you know what I'm saying, like, so if you're in your South Node, it means you're doing toxic uh, karmic things that you should not be doing, or someone is in that mentality or something. Um, somebody's doing something in their self know, which means they're doing something to hurt somebody maybe, or just something that's just not good. Um, spirit is going to learn them good. So this is somebody here who, like I said, Taurus, this is somebody here who, it's like someone here has like some, um, inner wounding here that they have yet to like really heal from, or have yet to even admit that they need to heal from it or something like that. And they're going to learn the hard way because apparently they're doing something in their self node that's going to get them some karma. This may have something to do with interfering parties. You know what I'm saying? Um, people who don't know how to mind their own business. So this could be that type of energy too. Okay. All right, Taurus. Let's uh, get into the cards. Let's see what's up. All right. So, Holy Spirit, can you please clarify this... Uh, <laughs> This giggity quagmire, they won't stop energy for tours. What is that about? Okay. Well, okay, that's kind of jumbled up. Okay, hold on. Goodness gracious. This giggity quagmire, they won't stop. Somebody that's a sweetheart. <laughs> Somebody's digging you, digging your style. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I know there's a glare on that ring light. All right, but this is sweetheart, pure, unconditional love, beloved. So, love it. So someone's digging you, like I said, Taurus. Someone's like really, really digging you, or you're really digging them. Uh, what else? What else with the giggity quagmire? Let's just, just do that one. Let's, what else a giggity quagmire for Taurus? Someone here may want a commitment with you. Or this could talk about how an obsessive energy 
that you perceive to be a sweetheart that that's beloved and pure to you. you may have a child with this person or are expecting children with them or something like that they're trying to bind you in like some sort of um contract or something like that like make you stuck to them so it could be seen as that or it could just be simply seen that somebody here is just really digging you and they want to put a ring on it <laughs> they want they want commitment like they they won't they want you to themselves you feel me okay uh what is they want oh sorry what is they won't stop we got libation here with me which means donation pray religion calm inner peace simplicity something to do you are a very like you you are about your inner peace you're zen you feel me you're zen you're a zen individual you know how to remain calm you live a, you may live a life of simplicity or you're trying to you may meditate you know the funny thing well not funny but the difference between these two cards it's a libation card is more towards religion and this one's more toward the calm card is more towards spirituality so this could be a religious group that's maybe coming after you because of your beliefs or someone something like that let me keep going here what is uh they won't stop something from the past we got the memory here so somebody's uh remembering something uh what's the memory or some somebody's doing some somebody's like stuck in the past about something. Jeez Louise, we got robbery. Okay, and then behind that, oh Lord, here we go. Fate. Okay, hold on. Okay, and then we got mask at the bottom. Deception, pretending, and constancy. So, somebody here from the past, um. Or someone here is remembering something about a tarot reading that they had. Or some sort of coincidence that led to a robbery or something. I don't know. Somebody may have been plotting to come against a tarot reader. You may be a reader. Or, you know, your person maybe who take it how it resonates. What else is they won't stop? Yeah, somebody here needs to learn a lesson. Live and learn. Somebody here from the past is learning the uh, is about to learn a lesson, or they you know, or they need to learn a lesson. Okay, what else? Someone's afraid of being bullied or something. So this could be somebody here. It seems to me like somebody's got a victim mentality or something or where they feel attacked all the time and they're bullying. They're bullying you. Bullying your well-being, you know, your enlightenment. Like someone here does not like how spiritual you are. I hate to say that, but it's like someone here is like bullying somebody because of what they believe in. We got the fright card, depression, phobia, paranoia. We got bully, embarrassment, gossip, or unwillingness. And then we got blessing, fulfillment, well-being. Um, yeah, blessing, fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. It's like you know, you're very spiritually gifted here. Something from the past they, 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 um, you've, that you've learned a lesson from, they keep, I guess, gossiping about you or something. Like they're, I don't know, something's weird. We'll get into some tarot, don't worry. Okay, what is time to make sacrifices? Like somebody is bullying you because of your beliefs. And, and not just because of your beliefs, Taurus, but because your beliefs actually help you and others. You know, so it's not like you're going around preaching it. It's just like, you know, people turn to you for help. You know what I'm saying? You may have helped out a lot of people. And someone doesn't like that, it seems. Blind, awkward, unknown vision problem. This may have been unknown to you. You may not know too much about it. So it's time to make sacrifices for something that you that you may not have been aware of was happening. I mean, something that was going on that you didn't know was going on. What else was time to make sacrifices? I told you. Endings are here. Death card. Okay. Death is harm, inevitable, endless, or something that's endless. Something unknown is going on around you that's causing a lot of endings or something like that. And it is definitely time to cut things off that are no longer serving you. 
care, parenthood, patron support. You may need to cut someone off. This could be someone you supported or something, and you may need to cut them off. Or this could talk about it's time to make sacrifices because it's time for you to, to, to walk in blind faith and make a transformation so that you can walk into a caring and loving connection or something here. Um, someone here was causing storms in your connection and pretending like everything was okay. We got indulgence, which means you could, um, this could be a group of friends or someone you celebrate with or something like that. Then we have disturbance, like a pain in the neck energy, like somebody sending evil entities towards you, like negative energy or something. Then we have okay, stability, harmony, acceptance. Then we have natural disaster, like someone causing a disaster. So this tells me here that somebody here, you know, in a group of friends, somebody here has been trying to make it so you wouldn't be able to hang out with your friends and have a good time or something. Like somebody here was trying to alienate you from your friends, from your social group, from being joyful, from being, somebody does not like that you're friendly. Somebody here wanted to attach something to you so that you wouldn't be so friendly and so outgoing and so social. You feel me? They wanted to bring a disaster to your stability and your harmony, Taurus. That's exactly what the hell that is. And it's because I know they're obsessed. What's this obsession card? Oop. So when, um, ominous, ominousness. All right. Uh, cautiousness, sign, insidious. So somebody here was uh, some this obsessive energy um, was doing something insidious. What's the ominousness? Damn, Taurus. Disturbance. That car was just out a second ago. I put it back in the deck. This is an energy, Taurus. I'm telling you, this is somebody here who is disturbed. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen that. I actually haven't used that term in a long time. But someone here thinks that their, what, their way of getting justice with the idea and justice card, someone here thinks that their idea of getting justice for, I guess, whatever, or getting some sort of balance, it's like somebody wants their lick back. Like, you may have hurt them, Taurus, and like they're like, okay, I'm going to get my lick back. Someone's idea of justice is by making you poor, making you homeless, making you cast away. Like, somebody here does not want you to be, con you know, connecting with your friends. That's the second card here. What's the other friendship card? Did I put it back? Yeah, put it back. But anyway, that's a, the second friendship card. You know what I'm saying? So somebody here does wanted you to feel like you were, you know, that you don't belong with the friend group you're in and all that jazz. Like somebody here was just hating. They want someone here wanted to cause a lot of conflict within your friend group, within you know, within your social circle or just your life. Like someone here just wanted you to not be able to be at peace or something. Um, what's the South Node energy? Can you make it up? Accident. Someone causing accidents or danger, caution to victimize or trap somebody with the trap card here. What's the, um, this could have something to do with a gift. So someone here could have been trying to gift something that maybe was trying to victimize. I mean, someone could have been trying to gift you something that would keep you trapped or something like that. What else is self note? And you know what? One thing I got to do is call out numbers. I forgot about that. Give me a second. Self note. Okay, someone here was, yeah, someone here was fantasizing about that. This is a very disturbed energy towards, let me tell you, like, <laughs> yo, this is somebody that, <laughs> they sit back and they think about how they can hurt, or, uh, how they can hex, a, uh, curse somebody, or how they can, like, cause, like, injuries or danger, like, how they can trick somebody. This is somebody who sits back and schemes on how they can trick or victimize people. By causing accidents or injuries or something like that. This is a twisted individual, Taurus. I am not joking. This shit's wild. Let me call some numbers really quick, okay? Um, now, these numbers could be angel numbers, numerology. A lot of times I would call out birthdays, zip codes, phone numbers, whatever. Take it how it resonates, okay? But I have 2134, 2027, 6268, 239-793. 8257-4111-1661. Alright, what's the childhood wounds? <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, somebody here is suffering behind things that they have not healed from with the nightmare card. Most definitely. Someone here may be suffering in darkness, feeling persecuted because there are things that may have happened to them in their past, you know, and that they just have not dealt with. You feel me? What else with the childhood wounds? Yeah, a lot of conflict here with the imagination. Look, that's a child. That's another like inner child type card. Um, we have conflict. And then we got imagination. Like somebody here has, is a lot of inner conflict. Like they have a lot of inner child healing they absolutely need to do. Absolutely. Someone here may have um, been raised in a, I mean, trigger alert. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I'm not going to talk nasty, nothing like that. But someone here may have uh, grown up in a household with a lot of domestic dis uh, disputes and, you know, abuse and things like that. Like a lot of fighting, arguing going on. Um, you know, someone here may have had a, like a really, really, you know, rough childhood one way or the other. They dealt with something abusive, you feel me? Take that how it resonates, you know. Um, but this is definitely somebody here who just struggling. You know what I mean, they're, they're, these are things they have, they need to address. And it seems as though whenever someone tries to bring these up to this person towards, they get fucking pissed. Like, it's like the wound that you absolutely, it's like a, it's like the metaphor of someone walking around with this big gaping wound. They're bleeding out everywhere. And people are like, oh my God, like, you know, you should get that checked out. And every time somebody says that to the person, like, don't you, don't don't you talk about my wound, don't you, what's wrong with you, you know what I'm saying, like that, like, don't you talk about that, like, I'm not bleeding, what's your problem, like, you're bleeding, you're like, you're the reason, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, yeah, this is that type of childhood wound, and if you're watching this, okay, we have, we all go through shit, trust me, from the bottom of my heart, I want you to heal, okay, it is time to definitely explore those wounds, because you are bigger and better than what these issues are that have happened in your past, and I believe in you, most definitely, okay? Even if you're in your self note and you did some fuck shit, you know, you, you're going to learn a lesson. Spirit's going to learn. Spirit's going to learn good, okay? I'm not just talking outside of my neck, you feel me? So, I mean, I'm just speaking facts, and I, and I love, my goal is to try to heal and lead, not, not just tell the story, but try to offer advice when I can. Somebody here definitely needs to heal. And if this person is kicking and screaming into their wound, I mean, into their healing from their childhood wounds, Spirit is still going to drag them through it, <laughs> and they're going to learn them good. Yeah, someone here, they may have dealt with a lot of disasters in their life. You know, they might have been stolen from, taken from. They suffered a lot of loss here. Look at this, y'all. Look at this shit, Taurus. This is somebody who is wounded. This is somebody who's been through the mud. This is a lotus flower. People who are in the mud, I, you know, they may be in karmic energy self note, but you is still, you, you're, you're lotus. Lotus flowers, they, they, I mean, the seeds, you know, they start off in the mud and then they rise to the top and then they bloom into a beautiful flower. That is what you are. That's what we all are, no matter how hurt you are, okay? So whoever's doing this karmic behavior, they really, 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 you know, need to heal, okay? If this is you or someone else, I'm not bashing you. I'm just here to tell you that, you know, don't give up on yourself. You feel me? Please don't give up on yourself. I just want to put these back. Okay. Let's move on. What is spirit going to learn them good? Yeah, someone here could be controlling, domineering, or someone here is just reluctant because the marionette card also has a reluctance on it. So like I said before, this is an energy that I, I said I feel that their spirit team is going to drag them to this healing, kicking and screaming. And sometimes that is absolutely necessary because that's just how much God loves you. How much whoever you, whoever you're subscribed to spiritually, that's how much they love you. So much so that your spirit team, your ancestors, your past and love and whatever, you know, your angels, they are going to drag you into this kicking and screaming because it is time for you to heal. Okay, most definitely. Okay, you're precious and you deserve, you, you, you know, you, you, you deserve to be healed just like everybody else. You don't deserve to be sitting around watching somebody else heal and have a happy life. You deserve to heal yourself. But at the same time, you got to put in the work, you know what I'm saying, to have that done. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one signing one way or the other. I'm just saying it takes a lot of work, you know. And when we see people get things that they want while we're going through the mud, it can be discouraging. You know, it can make you feel like, a, it can make you feel like you're being personally attacked, that you're being personal. I mean, that you're being like left out on purpose. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to your blessings and things like that. And, and that can kind of throw us into a self note if we're not checking it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to tell you that somebody here is about to learn a major lesson and they are going to be healed. I believe in that. Or they, I mean, they're going to be for, if they're not going to be healed, they're going to be forced to look at whatever it is they've been doing their whole life and really be 
forced to look at things from another perspective. Watch that hangman card come out of his deck like a mug. Watch. What else is spirit going to learn them good? That hangman card is like an enlightenment card. Yeah, this could have been a third party, third will, enemy, distrust, flirtatiousness. So somewhere here could have been very distrustful. Um, someone here could have been um, talking to somebody's girl, talking to somebody's dude, or whatever. What else? So someone here is about to learn a lesson about being an enemy and trying to dictate and dominate something, maybe, to get what they want with the reservation card, desire, worth, extravagance. Like someone here has been manipulating people through connections, maybe even using third-party connections to get what they want. Like this would be the professional side chick type energy. This could be seen, and now, now take it how it resonates. This is not everybody's story. I mean, take bits and pieces, you know, whatever. I'm just saying that this could potentially be someone who is comfortable with being a side chick, you know, not saying it's bad. I mean, take a resonate. I'm just saying like somebody here is okay with being a third party. As long as they can get whatever they want out of the situation, they're perfectly fine with it. And, you know, it's not as though they're, you know, I don't know. It's like they're in their self no doing it though. Okay. Uh, what's the interfering parties? People who need to mind their own business. All right. Somebody ill. Somebody's sick. So this could, or this could have something to do with somebody being weak or fragile or having a disease. What's the, what else? What's the illness about? Um, let me call out more numbers. I'm sorry. 2930, 1537, marriage, sweet love, couple dependency. Okay. This could be someone you're married to, Taurus, or someone that you're in a couple with, someone who's codependent. Somebody here could be sick. Or this could be, this could also talk about how someone's marriage is like really really weak and fragile, because there's interfering parties, people who know how to mind their own business, who keep butting in and asserting and projecting their, like you gotta kind of check, you know, when you have when you let family and stuff like help you out with certain situations in your relationship. Now I'm not saying that you should never turn to your family for advice and for support because you you should absolutely do that, but at the same time, you know, you have to make your own decisions for yourself. And a lot of times, you know, we want the approval of our family and our friends. So we turn to them with our issues every time we got a problem with our dude or our chick or whatever. And then, you know, they project their insecurities. They project their issues onto your relationship. I actually had it happen to me before in my marriage to Devin. But I'm just telling you, like, people will do that. And, and, and you really got to check it. You know what I'm saying? You really do. Um, what else? Uh, someone here could be butting their business in your business. Real estate. You know, you may be working on a project or something. You may be investing into something. You may be investing into a relationship. Someone here, you may be getting married and you're about to move in with someone or buying someone a home or something like that. And again, the family may be in the background or some friends or somebody's in the background and they're hating. They, they're, they're interfering. What else? maintenance and car did not want me to put it up it was at the bottom too <laughs> so this has something to do with a car or someone here there's interfering parties that are keeping somebody from um working things out with you or with someone like you guys may have gotten into a fight or split up or something like that or maybe you're connect like i said this marriage or something could be very very weak right now and it may be weak because your family or friends have interfered in it so much that the bond is now weakened so somebody here may be wanting to come forward and fix the connection with you balance it out but it's like the family or friends or somebody's in the background just like really in somebody's ear like man i wouldn't do that or i wouldn't say that or i wouldn't allow this happen you know that type shit people need money on business okay for us so let's get into some tarot holy spirit please keep me tuned into the beautiful frequency of course can you please clarify what else we need to know about this situation here what more can you tell us? Let's see. What more can you tell us about this obsessive energy that won't stop? Let's see. <sighs> someone here trying to avoid a tower. We got the tower in the reverse. Or someone here... Um, Maybe undergoing a personal transformation. Someone here has a fear change, maybe. Or someone here is going through a stormy time and are restless. 
So this is an obsessive energy here that is going through a really stormy time. The restless. It's like a transformation is going on. But it's like the tower in reverse is a personal transformation. But to me, since it's the tower card, it kind of feels to me like the type of personal transformation where, like I said, somebody is kicking and screaming the whole time. You know, like someone's being dragged through it. You feel me? What's the tower reverse? So this is somebody definitely with a lot of issues, a lot of things going on in their life. Yeah, a lot of chaos. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Maybe you had to cut them off and set boundaries with them with the Queen of Swords upright and the Justice in reverse. So with the Ace of Swords in reverse, that's chaos or a clouded judgment. You know, rethinking an idea. You know, someone here may have had to gain clarity on what was going on in this situation here. But this is definitely a, an energy here that's going through a personal transformation, probably kicking and screaming through it. And they 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 made cloud of judgments. They're confused. There's like chaos going on. And like I said, you had to set boundaries with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy, because you felt like things were unfair or unbalanced with the Justice in Reverse. That things weren't moving forward with the Chariot in Reverse. Um, and then the moon is here. Like there's something hidden here going on here. There's some something's going, something is just hidden. What somebody was aiming to do with their action, what they want to do is hidden. It's like you knew that this person had um, like some sort of. I don't really want to call it a hidden agenda, but they. I don't know. It's like they were hiding something, or maybe someone here is manifesting their own fears and anxieties with the magician and the moon here. That could be another way of looking at that. Justice is another Libra card, and then the chariot is Cancer. Uh, and the moon is Pisces. Hmm. So we could definitely be dealing with an Aries energy, or maybe someone with Aries in their chart. Heavy Libra. A smidge of Cancer in there, and some Pisces so far. Okay, let me move on. Um. What else can you tell me about this obsessive energy? What is it that they won't stop doing? Whatever they're doing, they're just bringing sadness to themselves. We got the Knight of Wands here, which is like energy or someone's inspired action or someone's sense of adventure. Then we got the Five of Cups, like a regret, failure, disappointment. Someone who's pessimistic. Someone who's suffering a loss or someone in grief. What's the Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups, please? Didn't I tell you this freaking hangman was going to come out? I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. This hangman was going to come out. And not only did he come out, he came out in the reverse. Like dead ass. Somebody here is... Um, stalling, they're, they're indecisive, they're resistance to change, they have a fear of sacrifice, a lack of control, someone here is delayed and they're stuck, like someone here, their energy, like right now, is just, they're just like feeling sad, like they're just like, they're unmotivated, you know, all that shit, or someone here is like upset because what it is that they really want, they failed at it, and they feel stuck and delayed now because it didn't work. Somebody here had the energy to drive to do something. It didn't work out, and they regret it. So now they're stuck, and they're feeling indecisive, fear and a sacrifice, lack of control. What else? What, what else? Y'all see that? Y'all saw that, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> King of Cups, all right. Uh, Scorpio energy. Hey, man's Pisces. So now that's two Pisces now. Okay. Uh, King of Cups. He's emotionally balanced, compassionate. Um, he's in control. He's diplomatic. He's empathetic. He hold. I mean, he has a deep love, but he doesn't too much show it. So he can come off as kind of cold sometimes. Let me put this back though since that fell on the floor. But I really feel like what they're saying is that somebody here needs to master their emotions. Like some, the truth is going to come out about someone with this Knight of Swords. You know, someone here is maybe defending their beliefs or something. And they really... This could be like a call for someone to remain emotionally balanced while they defend their beliefs. Like cause this, So this could be an energy that gets like really, 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 really like uh, amped up when they're on the defensive. And this may be a call for them to really check that emotion when they're defending their beliefs, you know. Um, what else? 
but I won't stop. What was it? What else? Yeah, no success. Four of Wands in reverse. You know, that's like a missed milestone. Um, conflict with others. Someone here has a lack of support at home where they feel like there's a lack of support at home. Someone here has a lot of home conflict here. Six of Cups in reverse. Someone's living in the past. This could be someone you have kids with too. Someone here... Um, Someone here, the, the reason why they won't stop tours is because they're stuck in the past, basically. This is where that childhood wounds comes into play. Most definitely. What's the childhood wounds? Got the eight of wands in reverse. Somebody's childhood wounds keeps them delayed. It's making them frustrated. It keeps them waiting for things that, 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 don't, that don't seem to work out. This could also make somebody plant, I mean, ugh, panic as well. Um... What's the childhood wounds in the Eight of Wands in reverse? Somebody's childhood wounds just keeps them stuck. Yeah, death in reverse. Scorpio energy. I already got the tower reverse. Again, someone who's resistant to change. This is a kicking. This is an energy. I'm telling you, Taurus. This is an energy where they, I mean, they are kicking and screaming through their healing. You know, but spirit don't care because like I said, God's going to love you. The Most High is going to love you. So you can kick and scream all you want, but it's going to be done because it's time. This is somebody who has a fear of change. Someone who is holding on to things. Someone here who needs to undergo a personal transformation. These childhood wounds need to be addressed now, Taurus. If this isn't you, maybe this is your person or whatever. You know, I'm not fussing. I'm just saying, like, seriously, like, this is, what, this is what's holding somebody back. It's, I, okay, let me say this. What bothers me is that people will throw magic or attack others for, you know, them achieving at their own, at their own personal achievements or whatever because they feel like they can't do so for themselves. Like, you are holding yourself back. This person that you're attacking is not the one that is holding you back. I just whipped these cards out. Now, one of these cards have said that somebody else is holding this, this energy, this karmic energy that needs to heal that's like, you know, in turmoil causing trouble. Reading this energy, there is nothing holding this person back but them. There are a lot of things that happened to this person in the past. Yes, indeed. I'm not doubting that. I'm not going to minimize that at all. This person has had a very traumatic childhood. You feel me? But other than that, nobody is holding this person back. They are. You are. Or they are. Take it how it resonates, okay? Somebody here needs to change. Somebody here is attacking others because they feel as though that is what's going to bring about their healing and their happiness. And it's not the way. That's not how you get to the top. It's not going to work. It's not. It's, you're just burdening yourself with conflict. Look, Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah. All you're doing is just burdening yourself. Burdens, hard work, extra responsibilities to complete. Five of Swords, conflict, disagreements, you know, winning at all costs. Like someone here has been burdening themselves with all this conflict they have on the inside towards trying to win at all cost like i kind of and sadly i hate to say this but i feel like somebody has just like really given up on themselves like really okay um what's this interfering parties okay we got the three of wands here so, this inter so interfering parties could be messing with uh, your opportunities coming in, or these could be people overseas, um, or there's some sort of progress or foresight going on. So you might be getting foresight on who it is that was interfering or something. Uh, what's the three of wands? Like you got many opportunities coming in and somebody wants to interfere with that. Yeah, ace of wands in reverse. Interfering parties, they want to keep you delayed. They want to take away your motivation. They want you to have a lack of energy, a lack of passion. Someone here wants you to feel weighed down or be bored with whatever progress or preparation or opportunities that are coming in for you, Taurus. That's what it is. What else? Like I said before, you know, this is the energy of where you may ask someone for advice about your relationship or your life in general. It doesn't have to be. And people are projecting their own issues, their own insecurities onto your connection, onto your life, uh, you know, and they're not. And now let me say this. This may not be vindictive. OK, it's just that when we haven't healed from things in our lives, you know, it, we, we can't really too much help somebody else heal from things that we haven't healed from. I mean, we could be supportive and do the best we can. But, you know, 
a lot of times we turn to people who are not in happy relationships, they're not in happy marriages, or they're not even in a connection or relationship. They could be single as hell, I ain't had a man, or I ain't had a chicken, God knows how long, because of their toxic ways. And yet, here they are throwing out advice and telling you what to do with your boo. You know what I'm saying? That type shit. You know what I'm saying? Family or not. You know what I'm saying? I done seen it always. You know, all every single direction. Um, what else with the interfering parties? Two of Pentacles, somebody wanted you to juggle. Or somebody was trying to keep you where you had to balance decisions. You didn't know which way to go. And then we got the temperance card here. Sagittarius energy. Ba that's your ba that's crazy how that came out together. Because temperance is another balance card. Two of Pentacles is balanced and temperance is balanced as well. Okay. So this is you. This is you um, having to balance multiple priorities, finding your moderation, finding your harmony. You're being patient. You know, somebody here is trying to be patient through the situation and balance things out and move the best way possible here. There could be interfering energies here who could be hindering that progress by giving you advice here, you know, to make you like really contemplate over what you got going on here. And it's making you feel stuck. Four swords, four cups, strength in reverse. Like someone here wants you to weak. Not, not really having the confidence to move forward, all that jazz. Like someone, and that's because this is how the fuck they're feeling. Apparently, uh, what is spirit is gonna learn them good? And then I get you some advice. Ten of Cups in reverse. This energy that's unhappy. This is someone whose dreams have been shattered. Someone here may have a broken family. Someone may be in domestic disharmony. Or they just feel disconnected. They're having struggling. They may have struggling relationships here. They're experiencing a lot of inner turmoil with the nine of swords in reverse. Someone here has a lot of deep seated fears, secrets. Um, someone here needs to reach out for help. Absolutely. Because someone here and someone here, um, this your spirit team is going to learn this energy. I mean, they're going to learn them. They're going to learn them. Yeah, I, I'm saying it broken English. Dad. They're going to learn them. They're going to teach them. Most definitely. Teach them the ways of healing. Someone here could already be going undergoing this spiritual transformation, this healing transformation, and now they're meditating and contemplating things. Or someone here is just missing opportunities here because they keep trying one more time. They have unfinished business. They won't let things go with the Eight of Cups in reverse. So again, someone here has a fear of change and a fear of loss. Someone here keeps avoiding doing their healing work here because they're afraid of change. And your spirit team is definitely, I can't make it up, Six of Swords in reverse. Someone here needs to undergo a personal trans transition but someone here again is resistant to change unfinished business emotional baggage someone's emotional baggage is what is holding them back judgment in reverse self-doubt resentment um a lack of self-awareness again someone here may not be fully aware of what they're doing to themselves okay but someone here could feel like they're being punished okay let me get you some advice here all right, Holy Spirit, for my lovely Taurus energies, can you please give me some advice here for Taurus? Okay, Taurus. We have let it go. You're being asked to let go of whatever pain and resentment you've been holding on to. It is hurting you and you can't fully be present in your life if you're holding on to this negativity. Release it and be free. So Spirit is saying it's time to release things, to let it go, okay? We have uh, have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Confirmation. Yet, you, yet still you must do exactly that because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. So for this kicking and screaming energy, Spirit is called on you to have faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the process. Have faith in the universe, okay? Have faith in God. Um, fresh start. You're being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace this new life and open up fully to this gift that you've been given. So fresh starts are upon you, Taurus. Most definitely. You know, and like I said, this is the energy of someone who's undergoing like a transformation and they may be kicking and screaming through it, but it is going to be so rewarding. And I'm definitely here for that. And I'm happy to report that. Holy Spirit, what's the takeaway advice here for Taurus? Let me get you a hip hop queen oracle. See what the hip hop queens have to say. We got Janae Aiko with emotions. Let's do one more. That may be it. Okay. 
Never mind, it's just the one. Okay, so Janae Aiko. She's beautiful. All right, her keywords are feelings, longing, desire, outburst, and standoffishness. Sorry. Okay, um... Sorry. <laughs> there are two sides to pulling a Janae Echo card. You're either too emotional or not emotional enough. Our zodiac signs often dictate our paths in this department, but we aren't beholden to our astrological influences. Stifling feelings can leave you feeling repressed, and one tiny disruption in your day can result in an emotional geyser that no one, not even you, could have prepared for. Likewise, a constant outpouring of emotions can be draining for both you and the person on the receiving end. Take it from Janae's trajectory and find a balance. Though when you need to emote, just do it. It's more than just feeling emo. This degree of honesty can help you feel free. So spirit is telling you that you have the right to your emotions and your feelings. You have the right to feel them. You have the right to express them, okay? Don't stifle your feelings because they can leave you feeling repressed. Someone here, um, this may have been part of their childhood wounding is that they were made to repress these emotions, their feelings, and now they're lashing out in this way. You feel me? That makes sense. But at the same time, we can't use that as an excuse to hold on to it. We have to be able to let that go. But that is your reading here, Taurus. Definitely. I hope that that resonated for you. And I hope that you enjoyed it because I enjoy reading for you every single time. It's exciting to me. Thank you guys again so much for being patient with me and with the channel and everything. It's certainly growing. God bless every single one of you guys. Oh, and also, Taurus, I have playlists available, too, for all the signs. So if you want to look at the previous readings, you know, go check them out. I got all nice and organized for you. All right. <laughs> all right. So let me get out of here, Taurus. I love you. Very, ugh, I love you guys very much. Have a great day. Bye.